Can an ordinary material become extraordinary simply by cutting it? Yeah, that is the craziest idea I ever had. <laughs> Whittled down to the smallest possible slivers, what was brittle gained super strength, becomes more conductive than gold. Physicist Philip Kim's colleagues were skeptical. Certainly without that courage, that just challenging yourself to some of this most bold idea that innovation will not happen. In more ways than one, the laws of physics took Korean-born scientist Philip Kim from the University of Seoul to Harvard and then to Columbia University for his first faculty position. Kim's grandfather had tried to become a physicist, his father next. Both times, history got in the way. At the turn of the millennium, the young material scientist was drawn by the promise of theoretical two-dimensional materials. Sliver is exactly one atom thick, too fine a cut for any knife. Yet according to the theories of the time, limited to interacting in just two dimensions, length and width, atoms behave differently. Some everyday materials gain incredible properties. Kim had his eye on the black flaky stuff at the point of a pencil. Graphite would become graphene, one of the strongest materials in existence, 200 times harder than steel, more flexible than rubber, lighter than aluminum and transparent, also the thinnest material known to man one million times thinner than a human hair. And yet a single sheet could hold the weight of a full-sized SUV. And Kim suspected there was even more to it. He prepped his lab, committed himself to graphene, beginning research that would take years. Name one thing on your personal bucket list. I want to take the one week completely off. <laughs> complete, completely off from my email, from my all the duty, and just um, do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what happened that someday? <laughs> Humans have been using graphite since the Stone Age, but Kim was one of the first to shine a laser on it. Sooner or later, we start to kind of find the very unusual properties of this graphene. It turns out graphene conducts electricity better than any other known material. In 2005, Kim's research revealed the mind-bending ways this happens igniting a storm of innovation now shaping the future of electronics. Paper-thin graphene displays, batteries that charge your cell phone in seconds or electric car in minutes, solar cells better at producing and storing energy even when it's raining. But the possibilities of 2D materials don't end with graphene. In principle, you can just bring the another 2D materials on the top of them and you can just restack them together. Today, in his lab at Harvard, Kim is layering them, stacking the single atom sheets like pancakes laying foundations for new forms of computer memory, circuitry, and potentially even medical sensors powered by magnetic fields. If you just kind of choose the material right and engineer it in the right way, you get this kind of synergy of the, these two different, completely different properties, which can lead into the quite unusual properties we never expected. I think that's kind of some of the interesting part. It's not just fulfilling the esoteric curiosity of the scientists, but also it can benefit mankind, the humankind, by just kind of developing some of the applications based on these new discoveries that we can make out of this system. <laughs>